So I've had a few people request more information about the Herco that I did a retrofit on. I uh, pulled all the electronics out. This machine is, I want to say it's 86 maybe, or an 88. Either way, it's 30 something years old. So uh, the computers and all that were 30 something years old. So the, the everything was massive. Huge control cards and all that stuff. Um, but anyway, I, when I got all that out, there was plenty of room for the new stuff, but we'll see that in a minute. Um, so since I had people ask, I figured I'd just shoot a quick video showing some details. To be honest, I've, I've forgotten a lot. It's not the kind of stuff you commit to memory. Once you <laughs> do it and you're done with it, it just kind of goes away. Uh, but anyway, we'll start over here on the, the power box side and, and show you what's going on in there. So this is the power box side of the machine. That's where all the all the big juice is. Got a main cut off here, and then a secondary switch here. <clears throat> if we open up though, come inside. A lot of this is original. Some of it's some of it's new. So our power comes in out of the main box comes up to this switch comes out of that switch over here to the transformers and then down here to some of these relays these transformers are original um, let's see don't think I'm using the big one at all so everything's running off of this little one here and there's the voltages we can get out funny I can't read it it's upside down it must be stupid this one here will give us 60 volts but okay for some reason the geckos can use 80 volt 80 volts but for some reason I was getting like 90 something volts out of here um, but I found out later that there was something wrong with my voltmeter so I don't know, maybe it had the right voltage coming out, maybe it didn't. So I've got them hooked up here and we're actually only using the, the 35 volt lead coming out of here. So the geckos only have 30, 35 volts going into them. Which hasn't been a problem, but I gotta keep my rapids below 80. Um, Cause it just stalls and I think it's the voltage. So I, I may come back to that and try it again. And if I can get more voltage, then obviously I want to. Uh, but the voltage comes out of here, AC goes down through here into a bridge rectifier, which changes it to DC, into a capacitor, along through here, through the tunnel to the other side. You'll see where that comes out on the other side. A couple uh, outlets here, this one's for coolant. This one goes to the other side. I can't remember what four of those, so there's something I needed 110 for over there. I guess we'll see that when we get over there too. And these relays are, some of them aren't even hooked up. Um, but basically it's got high power coming in, in the back, and then you can switch them on and off with applying voltage to the front. So coming out of the uh, PMDX board, using some of the outputs, you can turn on stuff like coolant and um, whatever else you have uh, you would use one of these relays for so <laughs> actually I didn't even finish cleaning up when I was done in here I guess I need to do that but anyway not a whole lot to see in this box we'll uh we'll go around to the other side that one's a little more interesting and this is the side with all the electronics in it. Now I've lifted the door off. Got these hinges that you lift off just to make it easier to get in here to see. And the door's got a fan built into it. And I just put a plug on the end. So if I needed to get the door off and get it out of the way, I could. Uh, so obviously, wire management is not at the top of my 
to-do list but anyway here's your PMDX board it's got the spindle control card which comes out goes into the Teco VFD which obviously controls the spindle it's got power coming in from the other box through a trough behind the machine and then power going out to the spindle motor from the PMDX board we we'll drop down to the three geckos X Y and Z just through these wires here comes down goes in and then each one of these goes out to to the motors also in here I've got an outlet one plug is going to the computer uh, and the other I believe is going to coolant actually I can't remember but anyway it's just power I brought 110 over and um, instead of hard wiring them in I put plugs in it so it would be easy to unplug them at a later date all of this down here is basically a desktop PC that I just I took all the guts out. There's the motherboard. There's the hard drive and the fan and the power supply box. And then this was the <laughs> just kind of casually thrown down at the bottom of the cabinet here. This was the um, the power box. Uh, you know the on and off and the reset switch. But those have all been hardwired in. Instead of taking them off of there, I just just leave it lay down here. Um, it's kind of ugly, but it works fine. A little tiny fuse block. These are for the uh, DC voltage for the geckos. And another fuse block. This goes up to the to the cabinet. I can't remember what the heck that's for. It's been so long since I've done this. Anyway, whatever it was, I felt like I needed a fuse so I put one in um, and the power bar here that's also bringing oh yeah okay that's right that's right so this plug goes to the power bar and then the power bar uh, powers this and the PMDX that's this one this one goes up to something else I don't know this one goes up to the uh, the control box, so I'm guessing this is the monitor. If it's in here, it's necessary because I gutted this cabinet out and started fresh. So not a whole lot to look at, but once once I got it cleaned out and just started adding one thing at a time, it really wasn't that bad. So. That's pretty much it for the uh, the box with all the controls in it. So above this box is <clears throat> connected this arm, which that's where all those wires. I don't even know if you can see that. All those wires come up through this arm, which has got a little kicker on it, just so it doesn't fall and into the back of uh, the box I built. Now this arm used to be down here. This was this huge arm that came out like four feet and then came up and it had the computers on it and all that. Um, I just recycled that. This box is not quite finished yet. It's just aluminum channel. That's been uh, screwed together. The aluminum sheet on the back. A little stand for the monitor, a little box here. Um, I over drilled a couple holes. I need to make a whole new box here because I got a you know a panel mount USB thing and stuff. It's just one of those things on the list. But anyway, got the e stop. This turns on the controls for, or it turns on the um, 
the relay, which turns everything else in the box on. The computer comes on with the power when you push this, uh, and this is a reset button. But the uh, the CNC stuff doesn't come on until you turn this on. So it's not glamorous, and I actually wish I had. I wish I had made this bracket in the back, maybe three or four inches shorter, just to push this cabinet back a little. Um, but now that this thing's in its new location, it might not be end up being that big a deal. Uh, there's enough room over here for the mouse, even though it doesn't look like it. it does what I need it to do. So. That's pretty much all of that. So that's it for the Herco. Um, if somebody's got a project thinking about doing something similar, it, it really was not that bad. Once I got into it, uh, less than 40 hours, I would say. Um, the PMDX board was great. It came with instructions start to finish. The geckos, same thing, start to finish. Uh, which is good for a dummy like me because I'd, I'd have never figured it out on my own. So, uh, like I said, it really wasn't that bad. Uh, and you can pick these... You can pick these things up pretty cheap. I've seen them, seen them go way cheaper than I paid for this one. Uh, the only thing, caution maybe, if you got to replace the motors, they're not cheap. Or if you got anything wrong with any of the ball screws, they're not cheap. Um, so if it's got old controls, maybe it's just wonky. It doesn't work right. You know, it occasionally shuts down. Something where the machine actually works but it's just temperamental or old or something like that I wouldn't hesitate to do it again um, in fact I've considered it but I, I don't really have the space for another one um, but anyway that's it hope it helps somebody thanks for watching